today because we love our country, we love the earth, and we owe something to future generations. They have as much right to clean water and clean air as we do. We're here to protest the Keystone Pipeline, which would go over one of the most precious uh, aquifers in the world. It actually at one time was the largest body of water in the world. It is a closed aquifer and it would be crossed by a pipeline carrying the dirtiest oil on, their, on, on earth. Absolutely. If you take a look at the proposed and present pipelines from the tar sands of northern Alberta, it looks like a corporate snakes and ladders board game. And it is all heading away. It's all about pulling that stuff up as fast as they can. It doesn't matter who, who gets hurt. It doesn't matter how people feel. And, and aside from the obvious that it is going to mean that they're going to put billions of dollars, trillions of dollars, into this pipeline system, it also means that they're going to dramatically increase the tar sands. And it is very clear that it is ener the energy industry the energy companies that are driving policy in this country and not the other way around. Yeah. Well, I just want to say to you that I'll be one of the people crossing the line today and I'm doing it. We're standing up to protect our water from the tar sand oil spills. We're standing up to protect and the pipeline that would threaten our brothers and sisters on the coast with oil tankers that could destroy their culture and their communities. We're standing up for our friends in the United States whose waters will be put at risk by the Keystone XL pipeline. Yeah! We're standing up to protect our Cree and Diné brothers and sisters downstream of the tar sands who are being poisoned and who are dying from tar sands oil extraction. We're standing up to protect all our neighbors and all creation from the threat of global climate change. Our brothers and sisters in the South, our Inuit brothers and sisters in the North, and all people everywhere. That's why we're here, to stand up with all of you and to send these Ottawa politicians a message. favor of the protests. I'm very concerned about the excessive police presence here. I've seen snipers on the rooftops. I see policemen everywhere around these buildings. I see uh, SWAT, you know, an enormous array of motorcycles and SWAT teams just down the street. So I think the police presence is uh, potentially a bigger threat here than the protests. And we'll see how today plays out. I pray to God it stays peaceful. I think it, raises, it brings an issue that isn't on our agenda this week to the front steps of Parliament. I have to be inside in very few minutes, and I'm not able to even walk up the steps to Parliament Hill because of all the, uh, the gates. They won't let me through. One of the things we don't see debated in the House of Commons is our energy future and whether we really benefit from a Keystone Pipeline that brings raw bitumen to Texas. Uh, I don't think we do, um, but I think other parliamentarians might like to discuss this issue, might like to have it on the table. So I don't know that it will affect anything in Mr. Harper's government, but I hope that individual members of Parliament will look into this issue and wonder why is it that we see here today, in front of Parliament Hill, the, the major labor unions that benefit from jobs in the oil sense opposing the pipeline. Why do we see First Nations leadership like Bill Erasmus and the Dene Nation opposing the pipeline? Why did, you know, people may expect Greenpeace and environmental groups, but look at the broad coalition that says this is not in Canada's interest.